Engineers working in classical music know that the key to a three-dimensional and big sounding mix is to introduce time differences between the left and right speaker channel. So these engineers record their orchestras uh, with a spaced microphone pair. So the sound from, for, uh, for instance, the cello will arrive at the right microphone a bit earlier than at the left microphone. And also the reflections of the instrument in the room will all arrive at different timing intervals. Uh, so that creates sort of a holographic sound image, which sounds way more three-dimensional than you would expect from a two-channel system like stereo. Now, in pop and rock music, we're not obliged to create a realistic sounding image like uh, in classical. Um, so we can use these same mechanisms of delaying one channel uh, opposed to the other. Uh, to create a way bigger sounding soundstage, which isn't too realistic, but uh, it certainly has a musical effect. So in this episode, we'll be working on a synthesizer track and an electric guitar track, and I'll be using various delay techniques to make the sound image as big as possible.